Hey, Jacob Dykes, wildlife specialist with Mississippi State University Extension Service. It's fawning season, and that means baby deer are hitting the ground. Now, some of you are going to be out and about, walking through the woods, walking through a field, maybe even in your own backyard, and you're going to stumble across a fawn. Fawn's likely not going to get up. You're going to look around. You're not going to see mom, and you're going to panic. You're going to think that that fawn needs to be rescued. Let's talk about why that's a bad idea. So within the first 10 hours of birth, mom's going to move that fawn to a safe place. That fawn's instinctively going to lie down, and mom's gonna get out of there. She's gonna stay away because she doesn't want her presence to attract predators. Now she'll frequently visit, she'll nurse that fawn, she'll even consume the waste from that fawn. Just one more strategy to prevent a predator from detecting that fawn. Now when a fawn is approached by a predator, they're gonna lie very still. They're gonna nestle down, they're gonna, they're gonna take advantage of those spots, which is cryptic coloration or camouflage. And they can even lower their heart rate by about 30%, again, making it more difficult for predators to detect them. So what you see as something that looks like an abandoned fawn or, or a fawn in need is exactly how Mother Nature uh, programmed them to behave. So the best thing that you can do, appreciate the experience, but get out of there. Let's leave the fawns alone. Thank y'all.